Uh, I know we have some new folks today also because this mindful yoga for healers was featured once again in mindful.org this week. So I think we have a number of folks from across the world. So welcome. And I just wanted to give a little bit of an introduction to who I am for those of you that are new. I am Jesse Mahoney and I'm a pediatrician in San Francisco. I am also a certified mindful life coach and a mindful yoga instructor. And what I mean by mindful yoga is that I incorporate not just the poses, but yoga as a way of life and yoga as a way of um, breathing and stretching and replenishing and restoring. And these classes, as they're called mindful yoga for healers, is that in general, as healers, we're not very good at taking care of ourselves. And so the invitation is to learn to take care of ourselves in a truly nourishing and um, healing way. And sometimes we think that we have been doing that and yoga gets you to begin to see what's actually truly nourishing for you and what actually feels good and what doesn't. And so I will often um, offer in class to do what works for you. And Zoom yoga is a bit of a challenge because you're all in tiny little boxes. So while I'm teaching, I can't see particularly well what you're doing. And so I offer to you to do what works and not push yourself. Yoga is about listening to yourself and listening to your body and learning what feels good and what doesn't and acting accordingly. And so notice what works, listen to your body and choose to act accordingly. Um, I should also mention that today's class is sponsored by the San Francisco Marin Medical Society, and they do this once a month. They sponsor a class and offer it up to their members with the knowledge that yoga and pausing and being present and resting and being still and learning mindfulness is a tool to help us heal and um, be more present for ourselves and those we care for. So I am grateful that they continue to encourage and support this. So for um, today's class, I wanted to focus on tender self-compassion. And for those of you who are in the Mindful Healthcare Collective, we had a book club this week with um, Kristen Neff and there was a glitch. And so Kristen Neff didn't show up to talk about fierce self-compassion, but we had a lovely conversation about self-compassion with a large group of um, healers. And what came to mind for me is that I really struggle more with tender self-compassion than fierce self-compassion. I've got the fierce part down, but um, so I wanted to offer that as a theme. And usually when I teach these classes, I have some kind of theme that I think that is relevant for those of us in healthcare. And so today's class, the um, offering is tender self-compassion. So with that, find a comfortable seat on your mat. And if you have a block or a bolster, um, I encourage you to sit on top of it and notice your ischial spines or your sit bones connect to the earth underneath. <clears throat> if you have a bolster, you can sit on it. If you have a blanket, you can sit on it and cross your legs loosely in front of you. If it's not comfortable, uh, find a position of comfort. Take a moment to tilt your pelvis forward and grow your spine tall towards the sky. Each vertebrae, one atop the other, all the way through the neck, all the way reaching the crown of your head towards the sky. And take it an inhale through your nose and a huge cleansing out breath, letting things go. And another inhale here in through your nose and an exhale out your mouth. And take a moment, notice your hands. Perhaps they're resting on your thighs. Are they palm down or palm up? In just whatever way you landed, enjoy that. And draw your attention to your shoulders. <clears throat> take in an inhale through your nose once again. And on the exhale with intention, lower the shoulders. And take a pause here. Just notice how you feel. With tender self-compassion, be still. And allow whatever is in your body to be here in this moment. And whatever is perhaps swirling around in your life or a condition you don't like 
or a partner behaving or a child behaving in a way you don't like, can you just accept that in your response with tender self-compassion, not needing to change it, not even needing to enjoy it, just letting it be. <clears throat> and bring a hand to heart, either hand to spine, place it atop the heart. Press the heel of your hand gently into the heart space and notice, hopefully, you feel good. Notice the skin of the palm on the skin of the chest and that connection to your heartbeat underneath. Draw your attention there. If it's comfortable, close your eyes. If not, feel free to gaze at a spot on the floor ahead of you loosely. And bring your other hand atop the hand atop your heart. Bend the palm um, of one hand along the dorsum of the other hand. Press that heel of the hand into the heart space. Connecting with yourself. Checking in with yourself. With tender self-compassion. Letting go of the judgment and the push and even the fierceness to show up strong. Just allowing yourself to be who you are in this moment with all the good and all the bad, all the perfections and imperfections. And I invite you to notice that pocket behind the heart. Envision it and take an inhale, sending the breath into that pocket behind the heart. And then exhale, letting things go, loosening that space. And one more inhale directly into that spot, filling it with tender self-compassion, kindness to self, recognizing your common humanity. And exhale, letting go of the judgment, the resentments, the frustrations of the things that don't seem to be in our control right now. And pause here, take a moment to think of something about yourself that you love. Something that you would not change. Perhaps your humor or your perseverance or the way you love, whatever that might be. Take a moment to connect to something about yourself that you would not change. And tuck that into the pocket behind your heart to take with you. Perhaps think of it as your superpower, carrying it forth as big or small as it might be, as an act of compassion. Take in another long, deep inhale here, nourishing, bathing every nook and cranny of your body with the breath. And a huge, purposeful, long, smooth exhale. And notice for a moment, perhaps how good you feel, even after a few breaths. You may notice tingles in your fingers or your toes. You may notice just a kindness to that heart space underneath your hands. There's evidence that this hand-to-heart position both releases oxytocin and lessens cortisol in the saliva. So an offering is an act of tender self-compassion. Can you perhaps do hand to heart occasionally? And allowing perhaps any resistance you have to being nice and taking good care of yourself, realizing that this tender self-compassion is not a pass, it's actually strength building. And when we have that inner tender strength, our abilities to move forward in the world are so much more powerful, so much stronger. It may feel uncomfortable, but perhaps allow yourself to just give it a try. Another long, deep, smooth inhale in through your nose and out through your mouth. Bring your hands to heart center, palms come together, all five finger pads rub against one another. Enjoy the sense of physical touch here. Press your thumbs together and press them into the sternum, elbows out wide. Take in another long, smooth, deep inhale through your nose. 
and then exhale, letting things go. And a moment of pause here to be present and to connect to your intention to bring perhaps an invitation of a little more tender self-compassion into your Saturday or Saturday night or Sunday, depending on where you may be in the world. What might that look like? And when you're ready, lower your hands to your thighs, open your eyes, let the light in. Give yourself a moment to accommodate and adjust. And notice if perhaps you feel a little different. And as we begin to move, bring that tender self-compassion with you, a kindness if anything is awkward or uncomfortable, or if anything brings up something. Can you just approach it with a tenderness, a kindness to self, recognition of common humanity that we're all in this together and we all have our issues and things, whatever they might be. And just a mindful approach, noticing without judgment. Focus on your navel. Bring your hands to your sides. Inhale both arms up towards the sky. Palms come together. Interlace your fingers. Flip your palms up towards the ceiling. Lengthen the arms. Straight your elbows to the best of your ability. Shimmy them back towards your ears. Ground your sit bones, ischial spines. Connect to the earth underneath. Tilt your pelvic bowl forward. Reach your hands tall, tall, tall. Lengthen the side body. Huge inhale. And an exhale. Inhale once again. Slight arch back. Exhale, round forward. Palms come towards the front. Suck your navel in towards the back. Rounded, seated cat. Enjoy the stretch in the entire back body. Inhale, reach those hands up towards the sky, slight arch back. Exhale, round forward, suck your navel towards your spine with intention. Drop your head and neck towards the floor, palms stretch as far forward as possible. Inhale, reach tall once again. Exhale, open your arms out towards the sides. Wrap the right arm under the left in front of you. Give yourself a hug. Wiggle those fingers all the way towards the medial edge of the scapula, as far as they will go. Squeezing tightly, lift your elbows up over your chest and lower them gently. Take an inhale in through your nose. And an exhale, drop your chin into the fold of your arms, allow your head to release towards the floor and just notice. Take an inhale here while hugging, squeezing, being kind to yourself. And an exhale, let it go. Inhale, bring your chin back up to neutral. Untangle your arms. Stretch them out towards the side walls. Wrists are flexed. Palms press flat into the side walls. Arms fully engaged. Pinch your scapula together. Enjoy all the sensations and release. Wrap your arms in the opposite direction this time, left under right. Wiggle those fingers towards the scapula. And if you did the opposite arm, just do whichever one you didn't do. Hug yourself, inhale deeply. Exhale, drop your chin into the cradle of your arms, head and neck release. Breathe into all the nooks and crannies of the back body. Exhale, release. One more breath here. Belly is engaged. Exhale, let go. Bring your chin back up to shoulder height. Untangle your arms, stretch them wide towards the side walls. Once again, pinch your scapula together in your mind's eye or with the muscles, whatever works for you. Exhale, release. Lower your arms by your sides. Roll your shoulders back three times. Enjoy it. And roll your shoulders forward three times, bathing all the muscles, fascia, releasing any tension. And pause to relax. Once again, take in a deep inhale through your nose and an exhale through your mouth. Once again, raise both arms up towards the sky. Exhale, drop your right palm onto the earth, spread your fingers wide, connect the left hip downward, stretch the left arm over the left ear towards the right, bend the right elbow. Breathe into every nook and cranny of the left side body. Exhale, release. 
Once again, inhale, tender self-compassion, kindness to you. And exhale, let it go. Press into that right hand, reach both arms up towards the sky. Exhale, drop your shoulders. Inhale, reach both arms up once again. Tall, 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 stretch both side bodies. Exhale, drop your left hand, palm to the earth, fingers spread wide, right hip grounds downward, reach the right arm over the right ear gracefully. Bend the left elbow. Inhale, breathe into the entire left side body. Exhale, let it go. Breathe in kindness, compassion, wisdom, tenderness. Exhale, let go of the judgment, resentment, stress, push, doing. Press into that left hand, reach both arms up towards the sky. Exhale your arms out, down towards the floor once again. Clasp your hands behind your sacrum. Press your fists towards the floor. Straight your elbows. Drop your shoulders down and back. Inhale deeply into that puffed out chest. Exhale, drop your chin towards your, strut, towards your chest. Stretch your neck. Notice the stretch in the sides of the neck and the shoulders. Shoulders down and back. This actively press towards the earth. Inhale, raise your chin, release your arms and shake everything out. Take out the block bolster if you're sitting on something and if not, no need. Stretch your legs out long in front of you. Move the flesh of your seat out of the way if you happen to have any and no judgment about how much is there or not there. Move it so that you can connect your sit bones into the earth. Knees are bent gently, ankles are flexed, toes are flexed towards your nose. Engage your belly once again. To start, spread all 10 toes wide, 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 noticing the energy that that just stretching the toes brings and relax. Engage that belly, inhale both arms up towards the sky once again, palms face one another. Exhale, fold forward, Gracefully, gently reach your fingers towards your toes, your shins, your knees, whatever works for you. Come into an easy forward fold. Allow your head and neck to fold forward. If you wish, you can press your knees towards the floor and you may notice a lovely stretch in the back of the legs. If you need to keep your knees bent, do so. You can even tuck a roll blanket under your knees if that feels better. Allow the release in the back body and the back of the legs, lots of energetic tension in all of these pockets. Sending kindness and tenderness to every pocket of tension. Deep inhale here in the forward fold. And an exhale, release. One more huge inhale, still forward fold. Exhale, letting things go. Slowly walk your hands up your shins to your knees to your thighs. Spread your legs wide, come into a wide angle forward fold. You're gonna lift up onto those sit bones. Legs are wide, toes are in line with your knees. Make your angle as wide as works for you. Ischial spines, once again, ground downward with intention. This is to protect you and keep you from getting hurt. Engage your belly, tilt that pelvic bowl forward. This may be enough of a stretch right here. Take a moment and align your spine all the way up towards the crown of your head. Take an inhale and an exhale, ground downward into the earth, engaging your belly. Hands can come to the floor in front of you. If that works for you, you may wanna shimmy on your sit bones a little, walk your hands forward a few inches, palms on the earth. Spread your fingers wide, 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 equal pie shapes between each ones. All 10 knuckles connect to the earth, both palms connect downward. Inhale and hinge gently at the waist, fold forward just a smidge and notice the energetic shifts in the backs of the legs. Draw your attention to your toes once again, check in to see if they're in line with your knees. Your, <clears throat> your knees can be bent here also if need be. Breathe into the backs of the legs once again. And exhale, gently come forward a tiny bit more with your chest, hinging at the waist, spine is straight, not folded. Just notice the release with kindness. 
Stretch all 10 toes, spread them wide, wide, wide. Each one separates from the other. Notice all of the actions in the legs when you do that. And release, let it go with kindness. Gently walk your hands back towards your groin. Raise your torso up towards the sky. Connect those sit bones down into the earth once again. Connect with your belly. Inhale, both arms up towards the sky. Exhale, lower your right hand towards your right toes. Reach the left arm gracefully over the left ear. Left hip connects downward. You'll notice a side stretch here, perhaps different than before. Breathe into it. And if you wish, gaze over the left shoulder, releasing and sending the tension stress away. Another deep inhale. Exhale, letting go. Inhale, bring both arms up to center once again. Exhale, left hand reaches towards the left toes or left shin, whatever works for you. Right hip grounds downward, right arm gracefully extends over the right ear towards the left toes. Stretch the right side body, breathe into it fully, nourishing every nook and cranny. Exhale, gaze over the right shoulder, if that works for your neck. If it doesn't, don't do it. Another inhale. And breathe out over that shoulder, letting things go up into the sky to float away. The tension, the judgment, the stress, the discomfort, the resistance perhaps to things that are frustrating you or can't be changed. Inhale, reach up towards the sky once again. Bring your arms out, <clears throat> lower them to the outer thighs and draw your legs together. Swing your legs around the side, come to hands and knees or tabletop. If you are new um, or if you have sensitive knees, you can grab a blanket to put under your knees if your knees are uncomfortable. You can also fold the yoga mat over double to cushion your knees, although it's a little harder with both knees. Your yoga mat gets quite small. Tabletop position, both hands spread wide, wide, wide. Equal pie shapes between the fingers. All 10 knuckles pressed downward, both palms pressed downward, arms engaged. Tuck the humeral head into the shoulder socket. Engage your belly, flat back. Knees are hip width, tops of the feet on the earth. Take an inhale here and an exhale. Stretch your right leg long behind onto your toe. Drop your heel, twist right arm up open to the sky. Come into gate pose. Left hand grounds into the earth. Right arm reaches tall, tall, tall. Outer edge of the right foot presses into the earth. Exhale, reach your right arm over the right ear. Stretch the whole right side body long, long, long. Allowing with tenderness, whatever works here. If you feel tippy, fine. If you wish, you can raise your right leg up to hip height, about an inch below the hip. Ankle is flexed, heel pressing towards the back of the mat. Inhale and exhale. Lower the right foot, reach your right arm up towards the sky. Right hand wraps around the back, comes into the left hip crease. Allow the right shoulder to reach backwards and down. Notice the stretch in the neck. Look towards the earth. Reach your right arm up towards the sky once again. Lower your hand towards the floor. Come back to hands and knees. Take a moment to even yourself out in a pause. Moving with purpose and intention, even if you know what's coming next. Extend the left leg long. Drop your left heel onto the earth. Weight shifts into the right palm. Reach your left fingertips tall towards the sky, coming into gate pose. Take a moment, connect the outer edge of the left foot into the earth. Reach your left fingertips tall towards the sky. Organize the right hand, all fingers spread wide, palm grounded towards the earth. Exhale, stretch the left arm over the left ear, all the way in the opposite direction. Full left side body stretch, breathe into every nook and cranny, sending tender compassion everywhere. Exhale, if you wish, raise that left leg up <clears throat> about six inches, a little below hip height. Balance gate pose. Noticing that 
this relaxing in and the tender self-compassion actually makes the balance much more easeful. Lower the left foot, reach your left hand towards the sky. Exhale, left hand wraps into the right hip crease. Roll the left shoulder down and back, gaze towards the floor. Huge inhale here and an exhale. Reach your left hand towards the sky, come back to hands and knees. Press back to child's pose. Knees apart, toes together, but reaches towards the heels. You'll walk your hands long in front of you, inch by inch by inch by inch. You'll notice a lot of stretch and release. There are lots of options for child's pose. If this is not comfortable for you, you can put a bolster or blanket between your thighs and your calves. You can have a block for your forehead. If you wish, lower your forehead, third eye towards the earth, forearms can rest on the earth. Taking a moment here to go inward, to pause, to be present and mindful. Connect to that heart space. Notice that pocket behind the heart that often feels empty, hollow, exhausted, overwhelmed. And remind yourself of that quality about you, the thing about you that you wouldn't change, that you also tucked in there for safekeeping. Knowing it's there for the future. Breathe into that spot behind the shoulder blades here. Exhale, let it go. Breathe into your belly, right into the navel. Exhale, let it go. And breathe into the groin area, the hips. As they reach towards the heels, draw your attention there, sending the breath, nourishing, tender, self-compassion, taking good care of yourself. And exhale, releasing anything that doesn't feel good. Slowly rise back up to hands and knees. Come back to tabletop, even yourself out. Walk your hands forward to handprint, curl your toes and lift those hips up to downward dog. Take a moment here to have a comfy downward dog. Notice what works for you. Hips, feet are usually hip width for those who are new. Wiggle your palms forward a little bit, equal pie shapes between all the fingers, all 10 knuckles press into the earth, palms into the earth, arms fully engaged all the way up through the shoulders. Sit bones reach towards the sky. They are the apex of downward dog. You can be up on your tiptoes, lift high, high, high onto the tiptoes. Shift your hips up and back, gently press into the hands. Notice what shifts. And slowly lower your heels towards the earth. They won't reach and enjoy the release. Bend one knee, press the other heel towards the floor. With tenderness, allow that release, the letting go. If it doesn't want to let go with tenderness, just notice that. Let it be. Bend the opposite knee, press the other heel towards the earth and send the same kindness to the back of that leg. Breathe in through your nose here, huge nourishing breath, and a huge out breath, letting things go. Another purposeful inhale here. And a huge exhale release. Come back to even, Feet. Lift up both toes, tall, tall, tall towards the, sorry, both heels onto your tip toes and walk forward towards your hands, coming into hands and knees at the front of your mat here. Widen your stance. Knees are bent gently, sit on sort of stick back. Take your hands, grab your elbows and allow your head and neck to release towards the floor. If you like and have a block, you can put your head on the block here 
as a release, or you can just sway. Hands grasp opposite elbows. Shift your weight into your toes. Shift your weight into your heels. Perhaps even lift up all 10 toes, stretch those toes wide. Draw the energy in through the toes, up through the legs, lower your toes down. Release your hands, engage your belly and roll up inch by inch by inch by inch. Head will be the last to rise. Move slowly, especially if you notice any dizziness. Allow your body to adjust. We often move through on autopilot and don't allow the shifts and the adjustments. Too busy doing rather than being. When you arrive, just notice how you feel. Take a huge inhale through your nose and an exhale, letting things go. Lift up all 10 toes once again, stretch them wide, spread, 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 draw the energy and kindness in through your toes, lower them down. Notice your kneecaps, lift them up, engage your thighs, tuck your pelvis, straight your spine, stack it one vertebrae upon the other, all the way up through the neck, lift up those postericular bones, reach the crown of your head towards the sky, breathe in through your nose, exhale, drop your shoulders with intention, palms open towards the front. Notice how you feel. Inhale your arms out and up towards the sky. Right thumb and middle finger will grab left wrist. Ground your left foot into the earth. Left hip grounds downward. Tilt gently towards the right. Tug the left wrist towards the right. Belly is engaged and strong here. Inhale deeply into every nook and cranny of the left side body. Exhale, release. Inhale into that pocket behind the heart. There's a little twist there, a little space you haven't been able to bathe with breath. Breathe into it. Exhale, release. Come back to center. Switch the clasp of your hand. Left thumb and middle finger grab the right wrist. Right foot grounds downward. Gently tug the right wrist towards the left. Ground the right foot into the earth. Right hip grounds downward. Tug that right hand gently. Stretch the whole right side body. Enjoy the stretch here. Exhale, release. Huge inhale through the nose. Send it into that little pocket behind the heart that pops open here. Exhale, release. Come back to center. Bring your arms out and down towards your sides. Roll the shoulders back three times. <clears throat> and forward three times. Pause for a moment. Inhale your arms out and up towards the sky once again. Palms come together, slight arch back. Fold forward back towards the floor. Coming into a forward fold. Inhale for a half lift. Spine is straight. Sit bones stick back towards the back of the mat. Crown of the head reaches forward. Exhale, lower. Once again, inhale for a half lift, noticing the release in the backs of the legs, perhaps. And if you don't, that's fine too. Exhale, lower. Plant your palms on the earth, spread your fingers wide. Step back directly to downward dog today and pause here. Once again, all 10 fingers ground into the earth, palms connected. A strong and stable downward dog, belly engaged. Suck that navel in towards your spine. Read your sit bones, tall, tall, tall. Allow the head and neck to release. Inhale, raise your right leg towards the sky. Exhale, gently bring it between your hands. Come into warrior one here. Warrior one, right toes jetline towards the front of the mat. Left toes are on a bit of an angle. Inhale, raise both arms up towards the sky. When you arrive, organize yourself. Wiggle those right toes farther forward if need be so that when you bend the front knee, the knee is not in front of the ankle. Your back heel presses towards the earth. It may or may not touch the earth. You should feel a calf stretch. 
Tuck the left hip back and the right hip forward. Inhale, reach both arms up towards the sky as tall as you can. Stretch the side body. Exhale, hands in front of the heart, palms together. Close your eyes here for a moment. Taking a moment to connect with this idea of tender self-compassion. What would it look like here in this strong warrior pose, still showing up with tender compassion? Open the eyes, lower your hands by your sides, reach them out and up once again, reach them towards the sky. Right thumb and middle finger, grab the left wrist, Gently tug that left wrist just a smidge towards the right and notice the release in the front of the left hip. Breathe into it. And exhale, let it go. As you balance more here, compassion for any wiggles and wobbles. Inhale once again into the front of that left hip. Exhale, come back to center. Open your arms out towards the sides. Wrap them in front, right elbow under the left, come into eagle pose. Grasp your thumbs or your palms or just hook your elbows, depending on what your shoulders like. Raise the shoulders to shoulder height and pause here. Inhale, breathe into that spot behind the scapula that's likely already letting you know it's there. Exhale, pause. Inhale, lift up your, your elbows a smidge, an inch, centimeter, what works for you. Exhale, lower to shoulder height. Inhale, lift up an inch. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift up an inch. Exhale, bring your elbows towards your navel, between your chest and your navel, and allow your head and neck to release forward. In this balance pose, breathe into the spot behind your, between your scapula here. Exhale, release. Inhale. Elbows come back to shoulder height, untangle your arms, stretch them towards the side walls, lower them down by your sides. Bring your hands to heart center once again, press the thumbs together, thumbs press into the sternum. We're going to shift forward into warrior three, which is a um, balance pose. Moving with tender self-compassion, laughing with latch yourself with compassion if you tip or have challenges. Shift your weight into your front foot. Press off the back foot. Raise your left leg up to hip height. Torso folds forward parallel with the floor, coming into warrior three. If you wish, you can bring your hands by your sides. You can bring your hands out like Superman. I prefer to leave them connected to the heart for balance. And just connecting to myself here as different things work. To notice what's working, what's not. If it doesn't work, you can come back to warrior one. One more breath here. Lower the back foot down. Come back to warrior one. Bring your hands by your sides. Inhale, reach them up towards the sky. Exhale, fold forward on either side of that right foot. Hop the back foot forward. Come into a pyramid pose. Pyramid pose, both toes face towards the front of the mat. Tuck the right hip back, left hip forward, and enjoy the stretch in the back of the legs. Breathe into it. Exhale, let it go. Hands can be on the floor, on the shin, on the thigh, whatever works for your hamstrings. Inhale for half lift here. Spine straight, reaches towards the front of the mat. Exhale, fold forward. If you have blocks, you can use them also right here provide a little bit more nourishing support. And sometimes the blocks actually allow more of a release. One more breath. Exhale, let it go. Step the back foot forward to meet the front foot. Come into a forward fold. Engage your belly and slowly roll up inch by inch by inch by inch. Head will once again be the last to rise, rolling the vertebrae up. Shrug your shoulders towards your ears. Draw them towards the back, pinch the scapula together, lower them down towards the floor, palms open to the front, and pause. Notice how you feel. 
perhaps tingles in your toes and your legs and fingers. Huge deep inhale into the space behind the heart. And a huge exhale. Bring left hand to heart, right hand to belly. If it's comfortable for you, close your eyes here and just connect once again within. What would it look like to show yourself a bit more of this tender self-compassion? Stillness, accepting, allowing, whatever it is. The decisions you've made, the life that you have, exactly as it is. Not from the standpoint of radical acceptance, but from a standpoint of strength. Slowly open your eyes, lower your hands by your sides. Inhale, reach them out and up once again. Slight arch back, palms come together. Fold forward, forward fold. Inhale for a half lift, spine straight. Crown of the head reaches forward, sit bones stick back towards the back of the mat. Exhale, fold forward. Plant your hands on the earth, fingers spread wide. Step back directly to downward dog today. Take a moment here, huge, deep inhale into the chest and an exhale, let it go. One of the reasons we spend time upside down in yoga is to shift our perspective. So use this moment in downward dog. How might you like to shift your perspective? Shift your approach towards yourself. How might this tender self-compassion be in a approach of productivity and performance and perhaps an act of love for you and everyone else. Huge inhale here. And an exhale, let it go. Connect both hands into the earth, ball of the right foot into the earth, engage your belly once again, raise your left foot towards the sky. Exhale, gently bring, bring it between your hands, coming into warrior one on this side. A nice lane between your feet, both toes face towards the front, left toe jet lines towards the front, back toe a little bit on an angle. Inhale, both arms up towards the sky. Exhale, sink into your hips, bend to the left knee. You may need to wiggle those left toes farther forward and the back heel may not touch the earth, but a lovely calf stretch. Breathe into it. Exhale, sink in a little more. Inhale, lengthen, reach tall, 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 tall. Exhale, sink into it. Right thumb and middle finger, grab the left wrist. Tip towards the right gently, just a smidge. Breathe into it. Enjoy the release in the front of the right thigh here, or the right hip. Inhale deeply. Exhale, lower a smidge and enjoy. Inhale and exhale, stretch. Release your hands, come back to center. Bring your hands to heart center. Pause a moment, connect those thumbs to the sternum. Reach your arms out towards the sides. Wrap them in front, left elbow under right this time, come into eagle pose on this side. Grabbing the thumbs, palms can connect or elbows just hook and fingers reach towards the sky. Inhale, lift your elbows to shoulder height. Notice the release between the scapula. Exhale, pause. Inhale, lift up an inch. Exhale, lower to shoulder height. Inhale, lift up an inch. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, curl forward. Elbows come between the chest and the belly button, the head and neck release. Notice perhaps the shaking in your legs here with tender self-compassion. <laughs> Wishing yourself well without judging. And 
If tender self-compassion means to undo and come out, that's also fine. Inhale, bring your elbows to shoulder height, untangle your arms, lower them by your sides. Bring your hands to heart center. Thumbs connect, connect to the sternum. Press off the back foot, hop forward, shift your weight into that front foot, tip forward into warrior three. Reach your back leg up and back, a little below hip height, tip your torso forward. Use your thumbs against the sternum to help with balance and show up with kindness for the wiggles, the wobbles, anything gripping. Notice if the gripping is helpful or too much. If it's too much, come out 100% permission. This work is to notice what feels good to you. Last breath here. And notice perhaps one leg is higher than the other, doesn't matter. Lower that back foot towards the earth. Raise both arms up towards the sky. Exhale, fold forward. Hands on either side of the left foot, hop the back foot forward, two footprints. Both toes face towards the front now. Both legs straight, pyramid pose. Left hip tacks back gently a smidge. Right hip forward, notice the stretch in both legs. Embrace it. Bathe all of that tightness with kindness. If you have blocks, use them as an act of kindness. It actually will optimize some of the release. We always think hard is better. It's not necessarily. In yoga, in fact, finding ease is the most important work. Inhale for a half lift, spine flat, crown of the head reaches forward. Exhale, fold forward and release. Huge inhale into the chest and an exhale, let it go. Step the back foot forward to meet the front foot. Come into a forward fold once again. Engage your belly and slowly roll up. Once again, inch by inch by inch. Move ever so slowly, noticing all of the experience. Notice each vertebrae stack one atop the other and how it feels. And pause when you arrive. Notice all the shifts. Wiggle your fingers, lift your toes up, lower them down and pause. Huge inhale. And an exhale. Bring your hand to heart and the other hand to top. Pause once again. Notice that connection to the heart space now. Perhaps you can listen a little bit better. Perhaps you can hear better. Noticing what's happening there. One of the things that your heart tries to tell you in the day that you're so busy and tired and overwhelmed and exhausted that you don't notice. What would be the most kind path forward for you? Is there some small shift or some big shift that your body is letting you know about in this moment? Open your eyes if they're closed, slowly lower your hands, and we will gently transition back to the floor. <clears throat> come to start seated. We're gonna come directly into butterfly pose. Once again, move the flesh of the seat away. Ground the ischial spines, tilt your pelvis forward, grow your spine long and tall. Hands come to the ankles, draw the heels in towards you and rock side to side. Take a moment to have a little bit of fun with it. Inhale into that pocket behind the heart, filling it with tender self-compassion, kindness, recognition of your common humanity, whatever your butterfly might look like. Breathe in, fill that pocket with nourishing air and exhale, release. Inhale, grow tall, 
reach the crown of your head tall 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 hands on the ankles or the um, arches exhale release release your hands from the ankles stretch your legs long here in front move the flesh of your seat once again always needing moving hands come behind your hips about six inches spread your fingers press your fingers into the earth inhale drop your shoulders puff your chest out reach the crown of your head tall exhale press your heels towards the floor coming press your knees towards the floor pardon me coming into dandasana or staff pose your heels may raise off the earth ankles are flexed toes are coming towards your nose everything is engaged here it's a quite active seated pose. Inhale deeply into that pocket behind your chest, behind your heart. Exhale, let everything go. One more deep nourishing inhale. And exhale, release. Relax everything. Point your toes forward, stretch the shins, draw them back just to where they were. And gently raise your arms to parallel with your legs. Engage your belly and slowly, inch by inch by inch by inch, lower yourself down using your core to move with intention the whole way down until you arrive on the earth. When you arrive, take a moment. Kindly give yourself a moment to accommodate. Just like when you go into a dark room, accommodate. When you arrive on the earth, give yourself a few moments to accommodate. Allow your toes to fall towards the outer edge of the mat. Allow your palms to face towards the sky about six inches away from your waist. Notice if your shoulders are tucked or something is kinked and be kind to yourself and adjust. Take in a deep nourishing inhale here and a huge exhale. Flip your palms over, bend your knees, walk the soles of your feet towards your, walk, walk your heels towards your buttocks. Press into your hands, lift your hips up towards the sky, coming into a bridge pose. Shimmy those shoulders underneath you. And if you can clasp your hands underneath your hips, do so. Reach the hips skyward. If that doesn't work for your shoulders or your hips, take your hands, grab the outer edge of your mat, tug it towards your heels, lift your hips up. Knees connect energetically. Feet are in line with your hips, so make sure your knees are not splaying outward or inward. Inhale, lift your hips up. Exhale, stay. Everything is engaged. You may notice some shaking. Huge inhale into that pocket behind the heart here that pops open, sending tender self-compassion there, kindness for whatever your bridge looks like. And ensure it's a kind bridge. Ensure that nothing hurts. Every engagement is different than hurting. Using is different than hurting. If it hurts, opt out. Last inhale here, reach the sit bones high, high, high if you're still up. Exhale, untuck your shoulders, release your hands, and slowly, with intention, lower down each vertebrae one at a time, unrolling like a string of pearls. When you arrive, pause and notice how it feels. Allow the tingles. If your eyes are closed, you may see even little white spots floating by. Notice those. Take a moment here to notice your fingers and your toes. Wiggle your fingers. Lift all 10 toes up. Lower them down. Draw your right knee into your chest, hands on the shin. Hug it in towards you. Extend the left leg long. Point the left toe. Inhale, hug the left knee in towards you fully. Exhale, allow it to release laterally into the hip socket and enjoy. Inhale, squeeze it in tight. Exhale, let it sink in. 
Bring your hands to your hamstring. Straight the right leg towards the sky. Point your toe. Flex your toes towards your nose. Point your toe. Flex your toe. Bend your knee once again. Hug it in with tender compassion, kindness. Giving yourself a hug in this way. Noticing that self-touch is healing and soothing. Bathing our nervous system with calm here. Breathe in and exhale. Straight the right leg long alongside the left. Just notice how you feel. Bring the left knee in towards you. Grab the shin with both hands. Hug it in. Inhale. Exhale. Allow it to fall laterally into the hip socket. Point the toes of the right foot and flex them. Keep the toes in line with the knee of the left foot. Inhale deeply. Hug the left knee in towards you. Exhale. Release. Allow it to fall into the hip socket. One more inhale here. And exhale. Bring your hands behind the thigh. Straighten the left leg towards the sky. Point the toe. And flex your toe. Point your toe. And flex your toe. Enjoying the abundance of sensations here. One more point. And flex. Bend your knee. Hug it in towards your chest once again. Giving yourself a nourishing hug here. Exhale, let it fall into the hip socket laterally. And with kindness, extend the leg long in front. Notice how you feel. Huge inhale. And an exhale. Move your palms over. Place your soles and feet on the floor. Bend your knees towards your hips. Not quite as far this time. Draw them into your chest. And allow your knees to fall towards the right easily. Coming into a, a really easy twist. Pick up the right hip. Tuck it underneath you and allow the knees to fall a little farther towards the right. Not overdoing it. Just allowing a gentle twist here. If it works for you, bring your right hand atop the left thigh gently. Raise your left arm above your head in an easy cactus shape or a T shape, allowing an opening in the front of the left chest for those of us who spend a lot of time on computers. Breathing into it with kindness. Exhale, letting the tension go. Visualize it floating away with the breath. Breathe in and exhale. Gently release the right hand. Bring the knees back to center. Pick up your hips, shift them an inch or two towards the right. Bring your knees into your chest and allow them to fall towards the left easily. Don't make it complicated. Tuck the left hip under you in a position that feels good and allow the knees to just fall gently to the left. Right arm can be in a T or a cactus, whatever works for you. Left hand can rest gently on the right thigh if that works for your arms. And if not, just relax on the floor. Breathe into the right hip area, the stretch in the torso. Exhale, let it go. Release the left hand. Bring your knees back to center. Organize your hips so they are flat to the earth. Bring the soles of your feet together. Allow your knees to fall towards the side. Coming into Supta Baddha Konasana or Reclining Butterfly. Left hand to heart, right hand to belly or sacral area, whichever feels right to you. And a pause here to listen once again.
to notice what you can hear now when you brought your mind and your body into the same space. And you have intentionally let go of that judgment and intentionally brought in kindness, a recognition of our common humanity and some purposeful noticing and listening. What might look different now? Gently with kindness, bring your hands to the outer edges of your thighs, draw them together, extend your legs long, allow your toes to fall towards the outer edge of the mat, palms open towards the sky. Coming into Shavasana or final resting pose or corpse pose as it's sometimes referred to. Knowing that for some of you who may be new, the stillness here is actually much harder than it seems. It's short and just allow yourself to be with it, whether it's comfortable and amazing and a gift or something you are unfamiliar with and getting used to. So pause here, allow your body to breathe for itself. Allow the earth to hold you, letting go of conscious control of the muscles, breathing in through your nose, a huge exhale, allowing yourself to be, to be here with kindness. Full surrender acceptance of what is, allowing yourself to be without judgment. Purely kindness. Gently begin to deepen your breath. Slowly start to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Allowing the consciousness to come back into your body with tender self-compassion. Begin to move, wiggle, adjust. Take a huge nourishing in-breath. Stretch your arms long in one direction, toes in the other, and then exhale, release everything. Draw your knees into your chest and slowly roll over to one side. Use your arms as a pillow in sort of a fetal position and pause. Take a moment here to thank yourself for making the choice to come today. A moment to acknowledge that tender self-compassion feels good. And perhaps this is something you could bring with you out into the world. Perhaps it's not complacence, but strength, fortitude, calm, and equanimity is powerful. When you press, when you are ready, press into your hands and slowly come up to a comfortable seat where we began. If you have your block, feel free to sit upon it or a bolster or a blanket. And allow yourself to sink right back into this Shavasana feeling, feeling of deep relaxation and acceptance. Take in an inhale here. 
and a huge exhale release. Bring a hand to heart and another hand to top. Sending yourself kindness and a check-in. How do you feel now? What do you need? What would feel good for you? And perhaps can you act accordingly? Bring your hands to heart center, palms together, finger pads touch, thumbs connect into the sternum. Take in an inhale here. And a huge exhale, letting things go. Thank you all so much for practicing with me today. I would love to see you all again. May you all have a beautiful week. May you be loved. May you be safe. May you be kind to yourself and others. And may you begin to show up for yourself with a tender self-compassion. Thanks so much for coming. Um, I also want to let people know next Saturday, I'm not going to be teaching. I'm going to set up an alternate time, but I will be actually teaching yoga live at a um, conference for physicians in Arizona. So I can't be teaching in two places at the same time, but I will set up an alternate time. This We usually meet on Saturdays at 9 a.m. Pacific, um, and it's almost every Saturday, but occasionally I have a reschedule. So check the Wednesday email. It will have the rescheduled time once I get more information about the timing. And um, it was lovely to have everyone, and please come again when it works for you.